Hello, boys and girls. This week, we're going to be talking about sharing traditions and the theme of the story. First, listen to the, the video we always listen to before we start. I want you to pay attention. Sharing traditions. What traditions do you know about? It's fun to learn the traditions of your family. You can make special foods together. Cooking is a delicious way to share traditions. Here, a traditional folk dance is performed at a fair in India. Children learn the dance movements so they can teach them to others someday. Crafts and other projects are also traditions. You might learn how to knit a special pattern. Or you could learn how to make colorful shapes with origami, the Japanese art of paper folding. What traditions do you know about? And who shared them with you? I want you to think about what traditions are in your family? And why are they important? This week is Unit 6, Week 4. We're learning about traditions in the family. Weekly concept, sharing traditions. Essential question, what traditions do you know about? I want you to answer in your notebook, what is the essential question? I also want you to answer what is the theme and write a summary about the story in complete sentences. as well as you're gonna read another story and do the same thing. Please pay attention and as you're listening to this, I want you to repeat and read. First of all, look at this boy. What is this boy doing? That is a tradition. These are the high frequency words for the week. I want you to repeat after me. Before, they read before going to bed. Front, the dog walks in front of the girl. Heard, have you heard dad play? Mom will push the sled. Tomorrow, I hope it will be sunny tomorrow. You are. I'm glad to meet your mom. Difficult. This puzzle is difficult to do. Nobody. Nobody is on the porch. This week for spelling, we're working on three letter blends. I want you to pay attention. Three letter blends. The letters S C R. S P L S P R S T R T H R and S H R make the beginning sounds in scramble, split, spring, stripes, three, and shrink. I want you to repeat these words at the same time. They are saying them. Scrub, sprayed, street, splash, shrink, thrilling, spread, scream, thread, shriek, splinters, strike. Repeat the sentences. A stream of water sprayed and splashed us. 
the thrill made a shriek and scream. I want you to repeat and look for these words as you read the story and listen to it. This story is realistic fiction. It is fake, but it can happen in real life because everyone has a birthday. You're going to listen how a family starts a new tradition. A spring birthday. Let's listen to the story and figure out what is the theme of the story. What is the story about? May was a happy time for Marco. It was his birthday month. Can I have a party this year? He asked. Then my friends can celebrate with me. It's our family tradition to have a birthday dinner, said Graham. Your friends can join us. I will make empanadas for everyone. Nobody makes better empanadas, Graham, Marco said, but it would be fun to do something new this year. I want you to think about and predict what do you think will be the new tradition? Think about it. Think about so far What is happening in the story? So when you write your summary. How about a picnic? Dad asked. I heard about a nice spot in the park on Elm Street. It's in front of the ball field. We can push the tables together. That sounds like fun, said Marco. We can have hot dogs, burgers, and Graham's empanadas. At last... It was the morning of Marco's birthday. He opened his eyes. He saw mom and dad and Graham. They were singing the Mexican birthday song, Las Mañanitas. Marco sprang out of bed. He could not wait for his party. A summary is what is the story about. The theme is the message of the story. Mom and Dad went shopping before the party. First, they got a baseball mitt for Marco. Then they bought a birthday cake and a piñata. Everyone met at the picnic spot. Happy birthday! Feliz cumpleaños, Marco! They shouted. Look at what is happening. Listen and predict. How do you think this story will end? Mom hung the piñata. Dad spread out the food. There were hot dogs, burgers, and yummy empanadas. After lunch, the children took turns striking the piñata. Each one swung three times. The piñata was difficult to hit. At last, it split open. The kids shrieked and scrambled for the treats. Next, Marco opened his gifts. When he saw the baseball mitt, he cried. Thank you. This is just what I wanted. I can use it in the game tomorrow. When it was time for the cake, Marco's family sang the Mexican birthday song again. Marco's friends hummed along. Then mom taught them the words so they could sing it too. This is the best birthday party I've ever had, Marco said. Can we do this again next year? Sure, said Graham. It's fun to mix the old with the new. A spring picnic can be your birthday tradition. So remember the essential question. What traditions do you know about from other places in the world? Theme. The theme of a story is the message that the author wants to tell readers. Find text evidence. Find clues that can help you figure out the theme of a spring birthday. It's our family tradition to have a birthday dinner, said Graham. Your friends can join us. I will make empanadas for everyone. Nobody makes better empanadas, Graham, Marco said. 
but it would be fun to do something new this year. To find out the theme, you must look at the clues. Remember, I want you to use your own words and use this as an idea to help you. Andy's letter. Dear Trish, have you been to the zoo? I go each spring with Gramps. This year he bought me a toy seal. I had lots of fun. Your friend, Andy. Readers to writers. Sentence fluency. Andy used different kinds of sentences to make his writing interesting. When you write sentences, it is good to write different kinds and do not repeat. Using I and me. Use I as the subject of a sentence. Use me after a verb or after a word such as for, at, of, with, to, or between. Remember, subject is a person or an object. A verb is an action, something that you do. I go each spring with Gramps. This year, he bought me a toy seal. So remember, complete all your assignments. Have a good day.